the Trojan is a remarkably predictable flying airplane. Pilots, this is the maiden flight. I set up the control surfaces to what looked to be neutral. I've done no trim whatsoever. I maybe could use a couple clicks of up elevator. I'm flying with the battery a little further forward than the battery compartment cavity itself. Just a little bit. The 580 KV 4250 brushless motor gives this three bladed Trojan crazy power. It really is a truly remarkable flying airframe. Little rudder for you. Yours truly, Captain Mike, really, really likes the Trojan. Um, you've seen our video of the red and white one, I'm sure. I had, to, I had to have one too. Really, it looks like I've been flying this thing forever. Sweet. It is fast, too. I'm flying with a 3600 in it. We kind of do think that the 80 to 85 millimeter callouts for CG is a little bit further aft than it should be. Um, although I'm going to try it that way, too, I didn't want to maiden it that way. It is a bit windy, and uh, let's not fight the tail heavy tendency while there's a lot of wind going on. I have the flap set up to uh, not a lot of deflection. I'll give you my full flap pass here and show you. The cow flaps are tied with the uh, flap so they open up when the flaps are deployed. That's plenty, you know, that's my full. Now this pass will be with half flap. Uh, I'm using my Futaba roll dial. Folks set it up however they want. Now, the one thing I do know about aft CG on this plane, if you do go in the uh, cavity um, that's created for the battery without moving it up, you're really gonna see quite a nose up tendency when you deploy the flaps. Even now with a forward CG and flaps deployed, I, I can see her nose wanna kinda be on the upside. I've been up for about five minutes and this is the battery I set the plane up on. So I'm gonna set up for a landing here. What a beautiful flying plane. I'm probably gonna go just a touch of flap and actually I'm gonna go to low rate setting. The wind's coming out of the north. The nose is gonna wanna go to the right, so I anticipate a bit of left rudder correction on this landing. Nice. <laughs> Let's do it again. Looks so good, why not? You know, I really like the T28. Um, other than the, the EDFs we've been flying, uh, the only other tricycle gear airplane I have is a Cessna. So I was really liking this for coming out here and um, practicing my you know, tricycle gear landings and whatnot. This plane is heavy. Keep your power on. What a sweetie. Maiden flight, guys. Love it. Pilots, Motion RC is the place to get this. We got the parts, we got the support, we've got the tremendous guys on the phone and at the warehouse. The only thing not stock about this is I put a, a larger tire on there, two and a quarter inch Dubro tire since I didn't have the Dave Browns. The um, 
There's no sequencer for the landing gear doors. They're wire actuated. So any larger tire will get caught up in the mechanical function of the door closing. If you were to separate it from the wire actuator and the nose gear bay, you could um, flip a switch and then shut the gear door covers. In that case, you could use a large battery in there, or I'm sorry, a large tire in there, a little bit bigger tire. You do have room on the fork to really probably fit a um, two and a half or on there just fine. I fit a two and a half on there last night, but I wasn't able to shut the gear doors uh, seeing how they're set up this way. Again, if I put a servo in there to operate the gear doors, then I could flip a switch and or set them up on a sequencer and they'd work just fine. Guys, <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. I put a bit of tape on there to make it easy for me to get in here. It closes so very well. You see where I have the battery. They want you to have it back a little further than that. I thought it was just, they want it... You know, back here, it's recessed. Back there, we cut this piece of foam out on Mike's, and he says, put the battery all the way there. So I tried it here, even with it. I'm gonna actually try it, like he said, a little bit more forward this next time. All right, guys, thanks.